Hey everyone, TGT here. Let's continue with the next lesson. Welcome to lesson 4. In this lesson we are going to learn 5 kanji characters pictured above. And there's the next 5 numbers up to 10. We'll go through them one by one. Here's our first kanji for the day. Mu. 6. Mu for Kunyomi and Roku for Onyomi, written with 4 strokes. The shape of Roku resembles a human with 6 essential parts, 2 arms, 2 legs, a head and a body invisible. Oh, okay. Next kanji. Nana. Seven. Nana for Ponyomi and Chichi for Onyomi, written with two strokes. The shape of Nana resembles an upside down seven. I suppose I can kind of see that one. Here comes the next kanji. Ya. Eight ya for Konomi and Hachi for Onyomi, written with two strokes. The shape of Hachi resembles two equal parts because eight can be divided easily. Next kanji. Kokono. Nine kokono for konyomi and ku or q for onyomi, written with two strokes. The shape of q resembles the kanji for ten ju, using a walking stick. So we say an imperfect ten is only worth nine. Okay. And here's the last one. To. Ten. To for Konomi and Ju or G for Onyomi, written with two strokes. The shape of Ju resembles the letter T spelling out the word ten. Some of those things are really, really far-fetched. But anyway, that's it for numbers for now. The next thing only comes up at 100. The rest is all made up of these 10. Kanji. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. You now know 5 more kanji along with their English meanings and their pronunciations. So well done. Now that the lesson is over, I have to quiz you. I do hope you've been paying attention. Here we go. 9 Hachi No wait, Kunyomi Ya Onyomi Roku That's 7 And Kunyomi of that one is To Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on the way to mastering kanji. I wanted to update you on something important. He and I spent some time asking around to find if, out if anyone has encountered that monk we met. And you wouldn't believe it, some of the townspeople have met him too. Hmm, really? How odd. Tell us more. Well, all of the stories lined up with ours. They met the monk, were taken to a shrine in the city, and asked to make a prayer. Then after the prayers were complete, they had lunch? No, of course not. The city disappeared, right? Bingo. Vanished. However, there was one interesting difference. Tell them, Puya. 
Oh yeah, we all made a prayer for good luck in our studies, right? Just like the monk asked us to. Well, these people were asked to pray for anything they wanted. Some made a prayer for health, or wealth, or for friends and family, totally different from us. But the end result was the same, the city vanished. Right, so what you what you're saying is that the prayer we made couldn't have affected what happened. That's my theory, yes. But the monk on the other hand, he has to be the cause behind this phenomenon. I agree, he must be behind this somehow. Did anyone else in this city survive? No, apparently not. That's another thing we all have in common. Only the people praying in the shrine were spared from disappearing. Or perhaps it's the other way around. Bizarre, right? Everyone else vanished along with the city. This is definitely weird. Hana-sensei, what should we do? I'm not sure. All I, can, all I can suggest is that we continue down the path we've chosen. We'll continue studying in order to defeat the kanji monsters, and we'll keep building up this town. If more people manage to get here, we can keep them safe at the very least. I can't say I like it, but if we save more people, then maybe I can live with it. With it. I'm for all for it. The stuff that's happened so far sucks, but when you to ever it, there's so much better than sitting on our butts. Yeah, I've convinced myself I need to stay positive in order to get through this, so that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you, everybody. Together we'll get through this somehow. Hmm? Ah. It looks like we have company. Some kanji monsters are slinking around outside. Could've guessed. Well, I'm ready to fight. I've got you back, bro. Let's take him down. We can do it. Thomas, prepare yourself. Protect the town and the people here at all costs. Alright, let's do it. Five enemies. Okay, first we have five. Then we have six, Roku. And finally, Stone Ishi. Four more to go. Four, young. Six, Roku. And water, Mizu. Mizu. Six again, Goku. One, Ichi. Ichi. Evening, Yoru. Or you. you. Actually, Yoru was a different kanji. Uh, ten, Shu. Six, Roku. We get a lot of sixes for some reason. Four, Young. Yo. Evening, you. you. And nine, Hugh. Coco no. Where are they? Ah, there's one. Two, Ni. Ni. Nine, Q. Kokono. And gold or money, Kin. Kin. And that was the last one. All enemies defeated. Hmm. Ah, it's a boss. Okay. First of ten, Ju.
and eight Hachi. Hachi. One Ichi. Hito. Evening you. Sick. Six Roku. Mu. Gold Kin. Kana. Seven Nana. Shichi. And that's it. Frederick saves the day again, yeah. Huh, huh. Thanks for backing me up. Don't sweat it actually, Priya. Thanks for backing me up. No problem, Freddy. Oh yeah, Hana Sensei, I appreciate the support in that fight. Oh please, you're very welcome. I owe it all to Elliot. He had my back. Well, I only managed to pull off that special move because Frederick was supporting me. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Priya kept me fighting towards that. How long are you guys gonna continue that? I feel like this is going to become an endless loop of thanking each other. Yeah, maybe we should leave it there. And nobody thanked me. How rude. The kanji monsters are getting more vicious. We'll need to keep up with our lessons in order to stay ahead of them. Get some rest for this evening. We'll recommence tomorrow morning. Okay. Oh, Frederick already has an affection event. The others probably don't yet because he had the Chiawasa charm which increases his happiness. Sure, let's take a look. It's my best friend Thomas. Shippens is thrilled to see you. Oh, we should go hang out. Shippens wants to play fetch. Are you in? Absolutely. Oh boy, that was a great nap. Chippens and I slept like babies. There's something really nice about snoozing in the grass on in the middle of the day. Phew. So, what are your plans for today? I should study, but I haven't been able to focus lately. I kept getting instructed by Chippens. He's so energetic and playful. No matter the time of day, he's always running around trying to take me on adventures. He's so much like my puppy from back home, always bouncing around and seeking attention. Hmm, Chippins is great, but I do miss my puppy. He used to wake me up for school every morning. He always shared his doggy biscuits with me. But... I can't see him anymore. He's so far away. I suppose Chippins here will have to keep me company for now, right? Gee, what are you wasting time around? Time sitting around here for, let's play. Your bond with Frederick has grown stronger. Frederick's higher star has increased by 5. Frederick's key has increased by 5. Frederick has learned the skill Amber Jog. Hmm. So the affection events aren't actually voiced this time around. That's kinda unfortunate. Let's take a look at what that skill does. Increases a single ally's speed and cures ailments. Interesting. We should also be able to build another building. Do you want to build us a forge? A forge will let us buy and sell weapons and armor. Sure. Forge complete. Let's take a look. Oof, this stuff is expensive. Yeah, we'll probably have to wait a while before we can buy anything decent here. It's a bit short this time, but let's end it here and continue with the next lesson next time. So, until then, bye bye!